Hey up everyone, it's Farmer Dave from Cannon Hall Farm. Now, our Easter lambing event is coming up this Saturday. It has started a little bit early. Come and have a look. We've got a ewe over here. Uh, she's had one lamb. She's going to have another one any time now. Uh, she's been down and pushing. Uh, I've got to say, it's a good sized lamb. That Jacob has done that lamb proud. She's going down. She's going to start pushing again. The contractions are coming. Soon we'll have another lamb. I'd say it'll probably take her around 15 to 20 minutes to have the second lamb. Depending how she's getting on. She's got some contractions. She is pushing, so it might even be quicker. The lamb's in a water sack. Now we need that to break when the lamb's coming out, because if it doesn't, it's going to drown in the mucus around it. When the cord breaks, it takes its first breath, and that's where the danger lies. This is one of the scenarios I don't like. You, you, you want the lamb, you want that to have broken before this point. You know, it's, it's, it's about now where I'm thinking, do I intervene for the sake of, well, you could lose a lamb. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to break the, the membrane. So then I haven't got that worry. Steady go. I've just broken the membrane around the lamb. I feel a little bit happier now because if it comes out, it's not going to breathe that, that mucus in now. So I'm going to give her a look, another couple of minutes, let her push away and hopefully she's a natural birth. But if not, I'll just ease it out. Now she's been messing around now for quite some time. This is a perfect opportunity for one of our trainee vets just to come have a little look and just deliver this new little life. Okay. Well, just one of you come in. I'll just have a little. Uh, right, this lamb's got a leg back, so do you want to just have a little feel, see what you think? So what we need to do now is put your hand down the side of the lamb and flip it forward. Sometimes you have to push the lamb back in a little bit. You happy with that? You got it? Yeah. Good, you keep going. So you need the head and two legs, like it's diving out of the, the, the U. There we go, keep, keep it going, don't stop. That's it, keep it going. That's it, lovely job. Clear the airways, then we'll let mum come round and lick it. It's a good strong lamb that, you'll be fine. That's a really good result, we've got twins. Uh, the mum's uh, very attentive as well, she's, she's licking the lambs. Uh, she's a very good mum. Now, she was having problems. As it turned out, we were right to have a look. Uh, with the leg being back, it was coming out like Superman. Uh, and the shoulder was stopping it coming out. So we had to put our arm in flip the leg forward and let it come out naturally. So it was a good result and a good training session as well. So our lambing festival starts on the first and it goes all the way through the school holidays and uh, who knows when it's gonna end, right? We've got 500 lambs to be born. We've got a shire horse, we've got alpacas, we've got pygmy goats. There's all sorts happening down on the farm. So why don't come and join us? See you later guys, bye bye.